It's great to see you again. Uh, I saw you right after the uh, world premiere last night here in LA, yeah. and I gave you one word review, and I told you, I said, excellent. Um, I'm a huge dog person. In fact, my dog Liam's birthday was yesterday. Liam is my son's name. Really? Yes. Love that name. <laughs> I did not know that. And um, so, uh, but I, as a dog person, I just, I love the story behind this too. So my first question for you today is, what does this story mean to you? Well, it's a story about, um, about an adventure uh, in a dog's life. But it's, a, it's also a, the story of, uh, of, uh, of a human life redeemed by a relationship with a dog. And I, are you a dog person yourself? Oh, I am. I've had dogs all my life. We now, we now have three, uh, three dogs. Excellent. What were the challenges? I know that they've talked about some of the special effects that were done in the film. How challenging is that when you're filming? I don't want to give anything away. Too no, much. no, no. Uh, um, because uh, Buck actually uh, is uh, not present uh, when we were filming. There was a stand-in for Buck, a, a young fellow, a guy named Terry Notary, who's a talented actor and a, a former Cirque du Soleil gymnast and he was able to uh, replicate the movement and behavior of a dog um, and then so that helped um, the camera and other people in the scene organize their eye lines so that they were all looking in the same place and but for me he was he was a presence for our scenes and uh, I wasn't talking to a spot on the wall. I was talking to an emotional, uh, an emotional being, and uh, it was very helpful. I, 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 I love working with the guy. So it's you're a little, little weird, scratching him behind the ears at first and <laughs> rolling around on the floor with him. But uh, uh, no, finally it was a, it was a useful tool. I love the fact that you are a dog person, and I, myself, I told you that, you know, I am. What can we learn from dogs? What can dogs teach us? Patience, loyalty, um, that, that, that's, yeah. that's, that's plenty. <laughs> Big time. And I just, yeah, I, I love my little Liam. I, I've been thinking about this at the entire time I'm watching the movie. Like, I got to get back for his birthday. He's getting <laughs> ice cream this weekend. Um, we've talked a couple of times, and I've never asked you this question, so I'm going to ask you today. Um, love your work. Um, a lot of people look to you as inspiration, so even for getting into acting. So what is it about acting that you love so much? Storytelling. I love being part of a story that, uh, that has the potential to reach people on an emotional level. Do you remember your first role? Was it like a school play or? No, it was in, it was, uh, in a film. I played a bellboy and my uh, dialogue, my entire part was Mr. Jones paging Mr. Jones. Mr. Jones. Room 231. That was it. When I walked in, you said, I said Houston, and you went, Houston, I'm just curious, have you been to Houston, or? No, you just said it with such, uh, with Pride? such gusto, yeah. Oh, I <laughs> hate. Houston, Texas. Houston, okay. You know what? See, you know, you know the low, you know what our nickname is? Okay. I bet you've snuck in. It's because it? of Beyonce. It's Beyonce. <laughs> and Dave Morales from Houston, Texas. No, no, we're proud no. people down there in Texas. That's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> we, and we got great food, so I guess we're proud of that. And the baseball team, and eh, we will talk about that later. Um, <laughs> last time you and I met, we were in Florence, Italy. Exactly. Inferno. Inferno, yeah. And now you're in a movie, both you, and uh, with Harrison Ford. Tell me about the first time that you met Harrison Ford. We were first on, first set? I was on set. On set. On set. Same. Time. Same. Yeah. First day shooting for us. Yeah. 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 We shot our scene, our stuff with him right away. He's a, just a very nice guy who's just hanging out. I don't know. First time I met him, I was really nervous. But then I've talked to him a couple of times. I was too. Yeah. And but he's really, really cool. In fact, I yeah. saw him after the premiere of this last night. He just walked into the theater. I'm like, hey, Mr. Ford. He's like, hey, we're yeah. talking tomorrow. I'm like, yeah. yes, we are. <laughs> Tell me your. What's funny about that? him though is that I had to keep reminding myself <laughs> that I don't know him. 
because he feels so familiar. He feels like an uncle from yeah. <laughs> family reunion five years ago. You're like, great uncle, something, something. You're like, no, no, I just you're so familiar to me because I grew up watching you. Right. And he's so warm and kind. But you have to be like, right, I actually have, hello. Hello, I don't yeah. Know you yet. Yeah, because it's him, but you have to meet him. And also when you meet him, you, you meet also all the characters he played. Yeah. You know, you meet Han Solo, Jenna Jones, everybody the same person. So it's very impressive. So you have to like pretend that everything is normal. Yeah. But it's really, really difficult. But, and you do feel like, you know, <laughs> yeah. great way to put it. Um, this movie is it's excellent. I'm, I'm a huge dog person. But it's such an adventure as well. I want to know what you both liked really about this story. What would you like most about this story? Oh, my goodness. I am so happy to see how it all turned out. Our visual effects team did an incredible yeah, job crazy. creating this storybook feel. There's so much magic. And we shot it in the desert. In the, in the <laughs> desert in Santa Clarita. It was hot. And, uh, and the thing, this at the end is crazy. But um, even Burke, because actually uh, I, 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 I saw Burke for the first time when I saw the movie. Because we, yeah. we, we, shot, we shot with Terry Notary, who was uh, our partner for Burke. So we met the last Burke at the premiere. Truly, truly. <laughs> and we're talking about Buck the dog. <laughs> the dog, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Buck's the dog, so it's crazy. No, it's, uh, it's, that's uh, the magic of this movie. It's, um, we, we were like, uh, like the audience, you know, like yeah. uh, discovering the, the movie and everything because we, we had blue and green screen all the time. So. Seeing that, it's just amazing. It's just yeah. beautiful. It's just I, gorgeous. And I love what this story means. I mean, chase your dreams, kind of go on your own adventure. I'm not ruining anything. People have read the book. It's been out for a long time. Yeah. Yeah. But it's the way it's told, I, I just, I really enjoyed it. Are you dog people? I wanted to, my husband really wants to get a dog. I know. I want to have a dog. We don't have one right now, but and now we're having a baby. So it's, we'll, we'll it's, do this it's, first. It's better than a dog, I first. think. First, yeah. We'll <laughs> <laughs> this is just my opinion. But <laughs> I'm right there with you, man. <laughs> but, yeah, yeah, yeah. but congratulations. But step one, we're going to do the baby first. We were like, we can't get a dog and a baby at the same time. That's going to be like too crazy. Yeah, so yeah, yeah we're going to do the baby thing first, then get a dog. I love it. Yeah. I already know your answer. You're a big time dog person, and that's awesome. All right, so I've got the car waiting out front. Uh, we're going to Florence right now. Okay. Let's go. Let's do it. Let's do it.